In this video, we're gonna show you how to get a fully functional online store with products ready to sell starting from scratch. I'll be using storebuild.ai, which is an incredible AI tool that takes care of the technical setup so you can focus on selling. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Why sell digital products? Before we jump into the how, let's talk about why digital products are such an incredible opportunity. Digital products have become Become the go-to for entrepreneurs because they're easy to create, they require little upfront investment, and they offer unlimited earning potential. Unlike physical products, you don't have to worry about inventory, shipping, or production costs. Once your digital product is created, you can sell it over and over again without any extra work. Think about it this way. If you create something valuable, like let's say a Notion template to help people stay organized, or an ebook on time management, you've built an asset that can earn passive income for years to come. Plus, with so many tools available today, creating and selling digital products is easier than ever. However, even the best product won't sell itself. And that's where storebuild.ai makes all the difference in the world. It does so by helping you set up a professional online store in just minutes. Step one, brainstorming your digital product idea. Now, Every successful business starts with a solid idea. If you're unsure on where to begin, just don't overthink it. You can start by looking at your own skills, interests, and experiences. What do you know that could help others? Are there tools or strategies that you use daily that others might find valuable? For example, if you're great at staying organized, you could create a Notion template for productivity. If you're into fitness, you might design a workout tracker that's easy easy to use and customizable. Maybe you're a creative type who can develop micro apps or design aesthetic social media kits. The key is to focus on solving a specific problem for your audience. Now, if you're stuck, you can turn to AI tools like ChatGPT to help you brainstorm. You might ask it something like, what are some digital product ideas based on your skills in, and then you would enter in your skills or interest. Now, the more specific you are, then the better suggestions that you'll get from ChatGPT. For example, ChatGPT might suggest creating a meal planner for busy parents, a habit tracker for students, or an online course for beginners in a hobby that you know well. Now, once you have your idea, move forward confidently. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Just offer something valuable. Step two, creating your digital product. Now this is the fun part where your idea starts to come to life. Tools like Canva make it incredibly easy to create digital products, even if you don't have any design experience. Canva offers thousands of templates for modern, engaging products like habit trackers, notion template designs, and interactive planners. These kinds of products are not only practical, but also in high demand as people are constantly looking for tools to make their lives easier. For example, let's say you decide to create a habit tracker. You can start with a pre-designed template in Canva and then customize it to suit your audience. Add visually appealing graphics, motivational quotes, and spaces for users to write their own goals and progress. Now, if you want to get started with Canva, we have a link for you down in the description below. Now, one of the things that I love about Canva is that they have a free plan, which has so much functionality for free. Now, if you wanted to get Canva Pro, you can go ahead and look at their yearly or their monthly plans. And their Canva Pro plans come out to $15 per person per month, or yearly it comes out to 120 bucks. So you're gonna save some money there. Now you get tools like some storage, as well as like background removal, some other stuff like that, as well as access to more stock photos and icons. But honestly, the free plan is amazing place to get started. So just to show you how easy Canva is, let's go ahead and create a design. Well, let's go ahead and just search for habit tracker and see what comes up. Looks like there's nothing that came up. That's okay though. We'll go ahead and just click on docs. And as you can see, we'll go ahead and just scroll in here and there's so many different types of documents, right? There's contractor invoices, thank you letters, a research brief, a wedding checklist. Okay, so maybe we'll go ahead and try this daily checklist for our habit tracker. So you just go ahead and click on the template. That's gonna open up Canva. So we can come in here and go ahead and change this maybe to it's my fancy new habit tracker. And we'll go ahead and make that a bit smaller just by pulling this in, make it a bit wider so it's two lines. And then we'll go ahead and drag it so that's nice in the middle there. And you can see it's kind of showing those pink lines there. So it gets it nice and 
centered in the middle there. Perfect, we'll go ahead and click save. And then that one had an updated that upper section there. Now we could come here and type in habit one, click here, habit two. And if we wanted to add some pictures on here, maybe we wanted to go ahead and add in, we'll just type in productivity, click on search, we'll go to photos, and maybe we'll put this person right up here just so you can sort of see what it looks like. So there we go. As you can see, Canva is a great place to get started and they have a lot of templates to choose from that you can go ahead and customize further. Now, if you're not really into Canva, there's another option out there called Kittle, which is very similar in its graphic design capabilities, but also has a ton of AI capabilities as well. So we'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description for Kittle as well as Canva. Now, if you're designing a Notion template, think about how to structure it in a way that makes organization simple and intuitive. Just remember, you don't need to worry about creating something perfect right out of the gate. Just focus on building a minimum viable product known as an MVP. It's a simple version of your product that solves a problem for your audience. You can always refine it based on feedback later. Now, once your product is ready, you can download it as a PDF, a PNG, or any other format that suits this purpose. With your product in hand, now it's time to move on to the next step. Step three, setting up your online store with storebuild.ai. Now, this is really where the magic happens. Setting up an online store can feel over overwhelming, especially if you're new to e-commerce. But with storebuild.ai, the process is literally as simple as it gets. This tool uses artificial intelligence to create a fully optimized Shopify store for you in just minutes. So let's quickly walk through how it works. Step 3.1, launching your store. First step is to click the link down in the description to get started with storebuild.ai. You'll have to enter in some basic information about your business, such as the type of products that you're selling. For example, if you're selling digital planners, simply input that detail and storebuild.ai will create a store tailored to your niche. Once you provide the details, the AI takes over. In just a few minutes, you'll have a professional high converting store with all the bells and whistles. The platform even preloads your store with 10 winning products. So if you decide to expand into physical or hybrid products, you're already ahead of the game. Step 3.2, customizing your store. Now, after your store is generated, you can customize it to reflect your brand. Go ahead and upload your logo, choose your color scheme, and start to add product images. Storebuild.ai includes a premium $200 theme for free, designed specifically to maximize your sales. This isn't just about looking good. The design is optimized to turn visitors into buyers. Storebuild.ai doesn't stop there. It automates many of the tedious tasks of running an online store, like product sourcing and order fulfillment. This means you can spend less time managing managing logistics and more time focusing on creating and selling your products. Why storebuild.ai is such a game changer. Now starting an online store can feel overwhelming. Like you need to be a tech wizard or have years of experience. But with storebuild.ai, you don't have to worry about any of that complicated technical stuff. It's truly designed to make the whole process easy and stress-free so that you can focus on the exciting parts, bringing your ideas to life and connecting with your customers. Go ahead and give it a try. See for yourself just how easy it is to get an online store up and running by clicking the link down in the description below. Step four, uploading and selling your product. Now that your store is ready, it's time to add your digital product. Uploading is super simple with storebuild.ai. Just navigate to the add product section in your dashboard. Here you can upload your digital file, whether it's a PDF, PNG, or another format, and set a price that reflects the value that you're offering. Make sure to write a product description that speaks directly to your audience. For example, Example, Notion template for busy professionals. Organize your tasks, set goals, and track your progress with this all-in-one template designed to simplify your life. Habit tracker for students. Stay consistent with your daily routines using this interactive tracker, perfect for managing study schedules and personal goals. Take the time to preview your product listings to ensure that everything looks polished and professional. Remember, first impressions really do matter. Step five, marketing your digital product. Here's the truth. Even the best products don't sell themselves. Marketing is where you'll spend the most effort, but it doesn't have to be complicated. Just start by identifying where your audience hangs out online. Are they on TikTok, 
Instagram, Pinterest, choose one or two of these platforms and focus on creating content that showcases your product. For instance, if you're selling a Notion template, you can post a short TikTok video showing how the template works. If you're targeting students, create a study with me video on YouTube. This would feature your product as a tool that you use. On Pinterest, create visually appealing pins with mock-ups of your product and link them directly to your store. Step six, scaling your business. Now, once you've made your first few sales, it's time to start thinking about scaling. Now, a great way to start is by using email marketing tools like OmniSend. For example, what you could do is you could offer a free sample of a valuable digital product, like a snippet of your Notion template or like a mini guide in exchange for your audience's email addresses. Now, this strategy not only helps you build a targeted email list, but it also establishes trust and gives potential customers a taste of what you offer. Once they're on your list, you can engage with them regularly sharing updates, exclusive offers, and helpful tips that keep your products top of mind. As your audience grows, listen to their feedback. If your Notion template is a hit, you could expand with an advanced version or bundle it with related products. By staying connected with your customers, you'll uncover endless opportunities to scale your business. Starting a digital product business might seem intimidating, but with tools like storebuild.ai, the process becomes incredibly straightforward. By following these steps, you can go from idea to income in no time. The key is to start small, stay consistent, and keep learning as you go. Now, if you wanna get started with any of the products that we talked about today, you'll find links for them down in the description below. These are affiliate links, which means that we earn a small commission when you use them at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel by allowing us to continue creating free content just like this. So if you end up using them, we thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on Side Hustle Mastery, we explore a wide range of side hustle ideas, strategies, and tips to help you make an extra income, so be sure to subscribe. Other than that, thank you for watching. We'll see you here in the next video.